I've been meaning to make a video about this. Um, I just haven't really been getting out of bed very much. Out, me, if you don't know already, if you don't follow me on Instagram, me and uh, Char broke up. I don't, I don't remember when. I don't know how many days it's been. I don't even know what today is. I think it's Thursday or Friday. I've, I haven't been keeping track of time, but I've been trying to focus on other things, try to get my mind off of it. But I guess I'm trying. I'm, I'm just now kind of realizing what's happening. But um, she's been talking a lot of shit about me, so I guess I have to clear my name now. Um. I should probably take that down. I guess somewhere deep down inside, I've been kind of hoping that we would get back together. And this kind of symbolizes it. There goes my TV. But even if she did ask for me back, I probably wouldn't say yeah, even though I definitely would like to. Cause I can't trust her anymore, which is the sad thing. The thing that hurts the most about this is the fact that uh, it fell. The thing that's the worst about this is the fact that I trusted her, which, the, for those who know me, is not a common thing at all at any point. I hardly trust anyone. And, I don't know, I know we only dated for a month, but it could have been a decade and I wouldn't even have known the difference. And it's funny, because we've only been broken up for a few days, but that feels even longer. But she's been saying things about how I manipulated her and told her that she can't talk to certain people. But what happened was there were people who were, like, messaging her, and there was this guy who asked her for a blowjob, and I told him to fuck off, and apparently that's me being manipulative. I never even said she couldn't message him, but, um, then there was another person, who was it? Oh yeah, her ex Aaron or something. I never even said anything about this, but he was talking about how he wants, like, to like hook up with her and all that shit and I was like what the fuck so apparently me being pissed off about that's manipulative and um she's also saying I broke up with her but she's the one who broke up with me and this kind of this picture kind of shows how she feels this is a screenshot um she says up here uh it was, we were both desperate and started dating. Like, th like, that's a bad thing. We need to be friends to get to know each other. But the thing is, that kind of shows how she felt about the whole thing. I replied with, no, that's not what happened. I fell in love. That's what happened. Because I guess she feels that we were both just desperate and we wanted someone. Which isn't at all what happened. The first day I met her was um, Geyser, and that's the day I fell in love with her, so that's not at all what happened between us. The, uh, she also said that um, I like dumped her and said that I didn't want to be with her and she just wanted to be friends and all. That's all a lie. I said, she said um, that she wanted to try again as friends and then maybe we can get back together. I said, I just don't want to let other people have you. I wouldn't mind being friends if we were just going to fall, or if I knew you weren't going to fall for someone else. And this is all she replied. Just a sad, broken heart emoticon thing. And then she never said anything else until I messaged her like the next day being like why are you talking shit about me like I didn't do anything to you and then um she actually blocked me on Facebook before she even finished breaking up with me and I found out later that that was because she was actually going to be talking shit about me and she didn't want me to be able to say that uh, she didn't want me to uh deny it or 
like come clean about what actually happened. But I said, I'm not your enemy. I thought you'd see that. And then she says, no, just something you'd say or that uh, upset me. Your friends too. And I said, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you, or at least not intentionally. Believe it or not, I love you so much. And for the first time in two years, I actually want to die. Which, that feeling at that moment is a fraction of what I'm feeling right now. And the worst thing is the fact that I trusted her, again, like I already said, and it's like, I, I let her so close to me, and then she just, like, fucked me over so badly, not even cared, it was just so random when she broke up with me, that, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. <sighs> I haven't shaved since a while. I don't know. Mm. It's kind of stubbly. Eh. Yeah, so... Also, my friend sent me a, a picture of what she was saying about me. And a lot of people are trying, probably asking what the point of this video is. It's just to um clear my name so people won't still be thinking that I'm just some horrible fucking manipulative asshole because I'm pretty sure she's probably told some of my subscribers this already. When he doesn't care about you, I asked him if we could start over as friends because I feel we rushed into it because we haven't really gotten to know each other. He tells me, okay, by the way, let me stop right there. She said we rushed into it. Actually, what she sh what she said to me is that she was just desperate and she wanted someone and then she says, he tells me rumors that uh, were true, and I treat him like shit because I want to be friends. I don't even know what that is about. I don't know what rumors she's talking about. He was rude to me and manipulative to me. That's what she she's talking about, uh, those guys who were asking her to have sex with her. Got jealous of a dead ex, dead. Okay, that's completely different. She has this guy that died because she... He he wanted to stay at her house like two years ago, almost two years ago, actually. And uh, her mom wouldn't let her, and then he ended up dying because of it. And I guess she probably still blames herself or something. But um, sh she said she loved him, and that's what kind of hurt me, because I thought she only loved me, but there's still someone else in our heart. And I didn't, I didn't say, hey, you can't not love him, but I was like... You know, if you're not ready to move on, then you don't have to be with me. So that's all I said. And then she said, all I offered was a fresh start and for the fights to disappear, but he didn't want to, so he left me. That is completely, utterly bullshit. What happened is she left me, and I was the one who was saying that I was willing to be friends, but she never cared um, at all. I actually said it twice, just in case she didn't know it the first time, right here, I wouldn't mind being friends with you if I knew you weren't going to fall for someone else, and she just sends a broken heart, which obviously means she was probably thinking of getting with someone else, and maybe she just wanted to have me by in case that didn't work, which has actually happened to me three times before, so that's why I was like, you know, if you can promise not to do anything with anyone else, then I would be friends with you. And then she just didn't reply. She's like, oh no, he's on to me. So that's kind of depressing. My friend just messaged me. Oh, he's back. Well, I'm gonna go. My friend's been kind of cheering me up, and we're gonna go play video games and stuff, so... Yeah, see you guys.